In-depth sports coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 a month with an introductionary offer. See the link in the description to sign up. This year, it's been Tottenham Hotspur's turn in the all-or-nothing lens. The Amazon cameras followed the club through their 2019-20 season, culminating in a nine-part series which has recently come to a conclusion. Now, fly-on-the-wall documentaries are nothing new, not even in football despite its paranoid secrecy. An impossible job, the account of Graham Taylor's doomed management of the English national team remains in heavy reference, as does John Sitton's notorious performance in Orient, Club for a Fiver, as do many high and low lights from all sorts of other series too. So the voyeuristic allure has existed for a while and remains as strong as ever. But gradually though, with football's aims diversifying, clubs' willingness to pull the curtain back on themselves has grown. No longer a risk taken out of necessity or naivety. Now, if handled correctly and with the right balance between revelation and vanity, it can provide a great opportunity, one that, in time, clubs will almost certainly try to grasp each and every year. Now, Tottenham have opened their doors before. During the 1971-72 season, Hunter Davies embedded himself with Bill Nicholson's UEFA Cup winning side, the result of which was the glory game a no-holds-barred first-person account. Davies was granted full access to the players, to the manager, inside the dressing room and out. While his marvellous book described the inner mechanics of a season which ended in success, it also contained plenty of team politics and the sort of insecurities and isms that footballers and their employers have preferred to keep private ever since. And on reflection, the problem was totality of access and a lack of control. Readers became invested in the fate of the team and its players, and that was a good thing. But the cost of their fascination was the kind of detail that wasn't supposed to be shared, and that wasn't good. Football's response was to recoil. It spent much of the next almost 50 years searching for a tell-all formula which told a little less and did a little more for them, which satisfied commercial imperatives without breaching its strangely Masonic code. And today, it has that formula, with its limited but somehow satisfying access and its feel-good, all-in-this-together tone. Allowing television cameras exclusive behind-the-scenes access is also lucrative. In 2018-19, Amazon paid Manchester City a reported £10 million for the privilege. A year later, the deal struck by Daniel Levy was apparently very similar. And, according to reports, will lead to the launch of a first-of-its-kind retail partnership with Amazon. But an equally possibly even more valuable commodity lies in controlling the message, in defining the conversation that exists around a football club and those it employs. Like its many predecessors, this Tottenham series has shown both that process in action and also demonstrated what a powerful utility these documentaries are. Head coach Jose Mourinho is divisive and occasionally fatalistic, and yet throughout the series he's presented as a figure of great optimism. Barring one uncomfortable exchange with Danny Rose, he deals manfully with injuries, endless bad luck, and in effect, a situation beyond his control. And it's not a character those familiar with his work might recognise. The footage of his coaching and preparatory sessions is light on technical jargon and rich on the sort of persuasive, emotional rhetoric that supporters can both relate to and buy into. Reasonably so, because dense football speak rarely makes for entertainment. But the effect is the synthetic theatre of Made in Chelsea, the only way is Essex or Jersey Shore. It's not inaccurate, but then neither does the camera ever find an unflattering angle of the manager, the players, or, or even of the club itself. In the past, for instance, Tottenham have been heavily criticised for their activity in the transfer market. It's likely not a coincidence, therefore, that Daniel Levy and Steve Hitchin, the head of recruitment, discuss in separate interviews to camera and more than once just how difficult it is to make a signing and how complicated that process is. It's not surprising either that the season-long Tangi and Dombele saga is condensed into a single late episode, or that the club's attempt to use the government's job protection scheme and their U-turn in response to subsequent public outrage has been left out altogether. It's not so much a false reality, more just the club's version of the truth. An approved message, even. And perhaps it's also the future and the natural step beyond in-house television channels and preferred media partners. Clubs and their supporters are, at their most entwined, churches and congregations, and it seems logical that there should be a choir and a sermon. In decades past, a season review would be just released at the end of the year on a stuttering VHS. 
Today, clubs are too sensitive to be judged on results alone and worth too much as a brand to be damaged by the peaks and troughs of a sport or the disparity between the goal columns. They may not be able to alleviate those inconveniences entirely, but having a yearly right to reply would be a start. A place to emphasize the good, hurry over the bad, to dwell on the wins, fast forward the losses, and to show a player doing charity work rather than two-footing an opponent. And probably soon, all or nothing will be everyone's each and every year. The Athletic is in-depth sports coverage that helps fans see the game from every angle. And Tifo is delighted to be able to offer full access to The Athletic now for just £1 per month. See the link in the description for details of this introductory offer. For football fans, that's access to the writing of journalists dedicated to your team, plus David Ornstein, Phil Hay, Daniel Taylor and many more. Not to mention over 400 full-time writers offering inside access and independent analysis of every team that you follow across every league that you care about. Get local expertise and unmatched league-wide perspective. The Athletics writers are in the bubble, on the field and behind the scenes as it all happens. Catch up, go deep, and join the conversation on the most important happenings in sports.